Hi everyone and welcome back. The grossest things I have done as a doctor. Catheterization is a simple procedure which is performed by almost every doctor. There is a patient who cannot pass urine uh, because maybe they had a surgery just now or maybe they are unconscious. So you help them out by putting a small tube into the urethra. The urethra is where uh, the urine comes out from the bladder. So this tube, although small, is much larger than the uh, opening of the urethra. So if it's a male patient, even if it's a female patient, you feel very, very, very gross when you put it inside and uh, sometimes you hear noise and sometimes the patient is wincing and that's a gross thing. Labor is a process where baby comes out of a mother or her fit. Um, it involves uh, putting hands inside vagina and all that, which is kind of okay because it's for the baby, the baby comes out and all that. But after that, uh, once the baby has come out, there's this piece of uh, uh, flesh and meat called the placenta which comes out. Then I had to, uh, last day, search for uh, fetus inside the placenta because this lady had come at three months of pregnancy and uh, she had lost a lot of blood. She was bleeding. She had uh, an abortion and uh, I was supposed to find if the baby was in there, if the fetus was in there so that I can find out uh, maybe what sex was it or how good is it or if it had any anomalies, why did the baby die? So uh, there was placenta in a kidney tray in a tray and then I was uh, searching through the pieces of flesh and uh, this kind of uh, crushed me a lot. Another thing is pus. So there is a lot of uh, wounds in India especially because there are a lot of diabetic patients here. So they all have wounds on their foot and um, where not which are supposed to be cleaned up and dressed every other day. So some of the wounds are very, very gross and they are in very gross spots. spots. Uh, for example, uh, the other day there was a patient who had a large uh, wound about this big right next to his penis. So in the right groin. And it was um, so bad, he had not taken treatment for a month. There were maggots crawling out from it and uh, uh, we just uh, had to dress it up and clean it up and uh, do what we had to do. Surgeons who operate on the abdomen are not averse to shit. For example, emergency surgeries like there's a perforation of the bowel, there's a hole in the intestine and uh, you are supposed to close it up and sometimes the holes are so big that uh, shit has already leaked everywhere now you're supposed to clean everything up and uh, uh, close it up so there's shit everywhere but one particular instance where I had to do something even gross than that is uh, involving something called fecal impaction this is patient who was uh, taking pain medications for a particular condition he had and then uh, the side effect of pain medication is that it slows the bowel down and there is constipation. So this patient had constipation and someone had prescribed them uh, some Ayurvedic shit uh, which is fiber rich and causes heart, heart form stools which is supposedly good for allowing it to pass uh, through the anus very nicely. This particular patient had a small cut on his anus which has uh, which you call uh, fissure in anus and uh, he was finding it very hard to pass stools. So he had firm hard stools stuck in his rectum which was not able to pass and he had not passed stools in the past three days and he was coming with pain abdomen. This guy was like ah, ah, ah have pain help me help me. So we tried uh, the usual pharmacological things we put in a suppository 
which is a small uh, medicine which supposedly smoothens the uh, shit and uh, allows it to pass through. But this guy couldn't because he had severe pain while passing the so cut. So next thing we tried was enema. We also gave a local anesthetic gel so that he wouldn't feel the pain and he would be able to pass. So enema is a warm water which you pump inside the rectum so that shit smoothens and it flows out. Now this guy didn't find any of this useful. So I had to fold my sleeves and uh, wear my gloves and do what I had to do. I put my two fingers inside his anus and uh, reached inside for the shit and uh, piece by piece by piece. I took out shit and uh, took it out and uh, it was lying down in a resin sheet and it was so gross. I almost puked but I had to do what I had to do and the patient then had uh, um, you know, we give another enema and then the patient could pass it. He was saved and I was nauseous for the next three meals. I'm still nauseous and I think of it. Um, but these are the things that doctors and even nurses uh, do in their day-to-day lives just for the sake of patients. If you're interested in doing things like this, you can of course become a doctor. And uh, if you're interested in listening to more stories like this, you can follow my YouTube channel and like this video and share this video. So thank you very much for listening to me. Bye-bye.